There's a ton of glitches which I never really got to cover in previous videos of mine. Now these range from wild stuff like characters totally dashing out of nowhere across the stage. It's some crazy stuff man, a lot of little glitches and you know none of them are really worth an individual video but all compiled together now we got something to review and spotlight. So I want to give a big shout out to Aram dude. Aram, that's the name of that alien race in Echidicris, right? But anyways, this dude Aram dude made apparently a Smash Brothers for Wii U glitch compilation which showcases almost all the glitches in the entire fucking game in entirety. So this way we can see everything that I missed out on in terms of all the glitches. And if you missed out on any of the glitches that have been reported in Smash Wii U up till now, you are now going to see all of them. So yeah, I'm going to put a little bit of a spotlight on this video. Let's see exactly what Arm Dude compiled. Because something is telling me this shit is going to be hilarious. And of course, his channel and the link to the video will be included in the description below. So go and check out the original as well. But um, let's take a look at this. I haven't watched this before, so this is a reaction. Going to do, but that's not going to help you since I know everything you're going to do. Classic. <laughs> the fucking Sonic the movie. <laughs> that's from Sonic the movie. When Sonic and Metal Sonic were going at it. Hey there, guys and gals. I'm Aura. Today we have quite the smashing game for you. Super Smash Brothers for Wii U, the game you all know and love, mm -hmm. has some bugs. Oh, no, of so course. Get into your party clothes so we can get right into the glitches. What the fuck? First up is the Ness Instaco glitch. Should yeah, that one. And wait until the stage changes one of the first the found. As Ness, grab any character on this spot on front of the boat. If done correctly, it's in death. But that's not the only instant death glitch here. This glitch is all about. Oh yeah, this, this one. Fun. Oh yeah, Zero discovered this one. It's one where you can get killed on the ledge if you shine at the right moment when Ness's excuse me when Villager's um, nipple missile hits you. I would rock you. Have one player be Villager and one be Fox and head into the Smashville stage. Have Fox stand at the very leftmost edge of the stage and mm -hmm. make sure his reflector is on. It's easier to do on the left side than the right has side. To fire I would rock it right under the left edge of the stage. It's very precise. Yeah, sure. You'll know when you get it though, and you'll keep going back for more. I have no idea why this works, but I'm sure it has something to do with the hitboxes. Wario's bike has some very interesting properties. For one thing, it bounces. What the lot. hell? So go into Palutena's temple and go to the air with a small pool of water. Use the bike at full speed into the water and jump off at the last second. If you did it too late, it will go over the pool, but do it just right, and it will bounce off the wall and start to speed up while it's on its side. It goes so fast it gets stuck in the wall. What? The bike has achieved maximum fast. Damn! <laughs> you saw the Sanic? You saw the Sanic? <laughs> look at the top, look at the bottom, the bottom right. Maximum fast. This is <laughs> the training mode on the Mushroom Kingdom U stage. Wait for the stage to transition until Nabbit shows up. Grab Nabbit, down throw him, and immediately pause the game. Nabbit should be frozen in place. Now you can unpause it, and Nabbit is kind of stuck. What the That's hell? That's not the only thing that you can do with this glitch. Once you have Nabbit attached, do the same thing on the CPUs. If you don't pause before the down throw on the CPU, Nabbit will become detached. You can Whoa. do all sorts of character combinations for extra fun. What the? Wow, that's kind of hey, crazy. Bowser, that's a nice skin you got there. Don't mind if I take it. Like, I thought this one was a glitch that he just... Oh also, yeah. if you grab too many CPUs, the Wii will freeze. Seriously. Let's start off by stating oh. something about Bowser Jr. Him and his Koopa Clown card can act as separate objects in the game from what I can tell. What? This means that sometimes they can get desynced. By stage spiking Bowser Jr. while he's out of the clown car and trying to respond to the clown car just a couple of fans before death, things can get kinda wacky. Before you can do this, make sure you have at least 80% damage on you. Whoa, what? So just pick up a Mecha Koopa, go okay. towards the edge, and wait a moment. Jump off the stage, moving towards the underside of the stage. Do the up special so that you get close to hitting your head on the bottom. Now here's where the Mecha Koopa should explode, launching you downward. This is where it gets really spicy. Press A just a few frames before you die. This trick takes a lot of practice, but when you get it, you'll know. When you walk in the state, you'll teleport around, as the game is confused whether to follow where Bowser Jr. should be going, or the, or car, the exact or the opposite. Car. Animations are just strange with the clown car. You can fix this, however, by getting KO'd while outside of the clown car. Into a okay. one of these well, that's very interesting, you know, these glitches also just go to show you the level of depth that these games have as well too. There is no way that anyone will, I mean, I definitely wouldn't have been able to tell that the clown car and Bowser Jr. or whoever's riding it, you know, Iggy, Morton, Larry, but I mean, there's no way for you to really tell from the outside that they are separate entities. You would have thought that they were both the same, kind of like Duck Hunt. Very interesting. Player, with their health set to 10. You know what? 
Head into a stamina smith, one of these characters as the second player, with their health set to 10 to get things moving quicker. I suggest you use Jiggly Buff for player 1, as 3 neutral attacks can lower down health to 1. In game, have player 1 get player 2's health down as low as possible. Have player 2 get a smash ball and do their final smash. When they've transformed, get player 1 to hit them. Player 2 should be at 0 HP, but they should still be alive and transform back to normal. They are just another hit away from death, though. Hmm. This last one wow. isn't actually a glitch, but it's fun to look at. What the Four fuck? Four people enter on the hot head items. Have two of the players be Lucario, with one other player being whoever. With those three players being all on one team. The last player would be on another team. Ah, Position Link. Lucario's back to back and have them start the neutral special. The player on the other team should jump into the middle of the Lucario's aura spheres. Then the last player on the Lucario team throws as many hot heads as they can into the aura sphere. Eventually, at the black hole, look more like a star. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to save DDD? Holy subscribe. shit. Maybe he'll live. If you want more of me, follow me on Twitter. And for the question of the day. Oh, snap. So, dude said you want to save DDD? You got to subscribe. Well, I mean, that is messed up that you got DDD in that position. So, I'll definitely be subscribing. Awesome compilation video, though, Arm. Very nice stuff there. Um, very interesting video, man. I learned a whole lot from that. Considering that Bowser Jr. is two entities. Interesting stuff, though. But, um, yeah, guys, so exactly what do you think of these? Um, I'm sure these aren't all the glitches. They're probably glitches being discovered every single day. But I remember watching videos on all of these when they were reported. Some Zero did, and other YouTubers as well. So, I mean, interesting stuff here. I'm glad that these videos exist. Aurum, keep doing these, man, because these are going to be amazing. I'm sure you'll get a lot of views on these, especially considering that they're compilations, you know? Everyone's curious about the latest glitches. But you gotta mention T-Man's game. You gotta mention T-Man. But anyways, I'll talk to you dudes in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.